Um, so we have to uh, leave the meditations and uh, because um, it is only the, uh, the, the like a fully awakened being like the Buddha who in this uh, <coughs> gesture of, of hand gesture of giving Dharma and, and, and at, at the same time in the meditative equipoise who has that ability to <coughs> to uh, to to demonstrate the both you know the the uh, this, uh, deeply sitting to be able to sitting in the deep meditation at at the same time and then the engaging in the uh, act of uh, benefiting other sentient beings. So since we are not able to do that, so therefore to, for for in our case, so to, if whether we have to uh, you know listen to the teaching or to uh, to teach teaching, so we. We uh, <clears throat> we have to uh, leave the meditation and to engage in this kind of other other activities. That's on the side. That 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 Um, so the the meditations that, that uh, which we we engage in is called as the uh, giving and <coughs> um, taking. So uh, so it, in that so we <coughs> we uh, meditation so wherein we we specifically focus on all like a sentient being as an object of as an object of like a <coughs> uh, as an object of uh, like a compassion, and then you know you will be, <coughs> uh, you know, uh, wishing them to be free of, of, of suffering, and thereby enhancing, you know, these uh, the compassion, the force of compassion within within ourselves, mm -hmm. and then as well at the same time then to uh, f uh, specifically focusing them as an object of uh, of loving kindness or of the love, then you strongly. Uh, pray for and, and wishing them to have happiness and through this you are intensifying this uh, the force of your feeling of love for uh, all beings so this giving and taking meditation really um, the shows really is the very uh, the <coughs> Uh, essential, very important part of the Bodhisattva's uh, practice, and uh, and so so therefore, when we as we follow, no, also to to also to consider the 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 actual practices to uh, to arise uh, the body mind or the bodhicittas within within ourselves. So therefore, the as we um, you know, f uh, engaging this practice and and and, and follow this meditation. So we uh, <coughs> we have to uh, <coughs> suppose uh, as a result of that, uh, th though we we should have this this um, <coughs> the uh, uh, <coughs> the our adjectives towards towards the uh, other sentient being should be. Um, <coughs> uh, you know, shaped or should be cultivated in such that when you know we, uh, if we see them, if we observe them to under, uh, with inflicted with any sufferings, then we we cannot we uh, <coughs> it, it is like we feel like unbearable to to see them. Whereas <coughs> the 
to mm, uh, to see them mm, uh, or, be, or on the as well at the same time if they are, we see observe them being deprived of happiness again you know there should be this strong uh, <clears throat> this feeling to wishing around almost like you become so passionate mm. <coughs> or impassionate about to to see them such without uh, the uh, happiness <laughs> で、今かね、ジェテクッチェのファンソンセ。だてんでんわれ。大事にじじごに、しょじせせれら、あ、ファソゴマ。あ、ジェテクッチェのファソゴマ。そうやまれ。で、マスジェテクッチェのファソゴ
And, and so this wish, if we now, if we look in these two methods, so we'll, sign, we'll find that in the sevenfold cause and effect, so the one of the important uh, prior to cultivating bodhicitta mind, so is this uh, what is called as a superior intentions. So where you, uh, you know, you uh, advance or develop your love and compassion uh, for all sentient beings to the stage where with this superior intention, so you take upon their, uh, not simply wishing them, but actually you feel, you've, you've, uh, you feel that you have this, this sense of some sort of responsibility, universal responsibility to, uh, uh, to benefit all sentient beings in terms of freeing them all from suffering and then to place them in, in, into a state of happiness. So, however, the, uh, in this, uh, uh, however, in this, the second other method, which is for, of exchanging self with others, so you, we don't uh, find this uh, specifically this stage of uh, superior intentions. But however, as in, uh, in stage <coughs> or in place of that, there is the uh, practice of this uh, give and take. So, which is to really again to. Uh, <clears throat> through that meditation, so we supposed to, uh, we, we have to cultivate this sense of uh, responsibilities, uh, of feeling, taking the burden, you know, after you, you know, uh, you've, uh, you have cultivated within, uh, aroused within yourself this deep feeling of love and compassion, then you take this, you also feel, uh, cultivate this sense of responsibility, like just as how, if, if, if a some you know like a uh, a child you know a, a son can take the responsibility of, of the the of of, of his uh, mother you know full responsibilities and and so likewise we uh, we take the sense of this responsibility of uh, of all motherly sentient being in terms uh, and and it is said that in this giving uh, this as a result uh, as an effect of this meditation, so it's that uh, this, this sense of responsibility is such a high that you've, uh, you know, you develop such a point that where you uh, <clears throat> you almost feel like you know no one else, but you know you, uh, you alone has that uh, uh, responsibility for uh, freeing uh, all uh, being from suffering and to place them into suffering. You you got to. Uh, Cultivate, develop this uh, universal responsibility to that stage, you know, like a sense of single handedly that I single handedly wanted to uh, uh, free all being and from suffering and to place them into, su uh, into, into happiness. So then, as we can see, when you have uh, um, these responsibilities, then obviously the you next stage is to now when you, uh, you will consider now how to. Uh, you know, fulfill this responsibility, and then to look into the cause of uh, the uh, whether one can actually can, uh, uh, in in real terms, you know, uh, in real uh, terms, one has that ability to uh, uh, to fulfill this responsibility or not. Then, then of course you'll find that you uh, not yet you don't have that ability to fulfill responsibility yet. And so, so therefore, as we, as you, you know, uh, the investigate, then who has the such a ability to free all being from suffering and to place them into, uh, uh, into state of happiness? Then you will f uh, <clears throat> find that the only a fully awakened being, like the, uh, like the, uh, a Buddha, has that uh, capacities, that uh, mm -hmm. qualifications. So, therefore, by Understanding, recognizing this, that the that the, the Buddha's potentials to be, uh, you know, to be uh, a free all being from suffering and to and pleasant and to happiness. So and and this is something that you wanted so strongly within yourself, even to point you uh, that then it's kind of naturally, as you can see, how through that you, that this through this sense of universal responsibility. So how this naturally arise, what we call as an aspiration, to achieve. The state of Buddhahood, and and f to benefit all sentient beings, and 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 then it said that you arise that, and and then eventually as it will, uh, uh, you know, you develop that, and it says that it it developed to this stage where it such such aspirations uh, uh, 
uh, of the arises like so spontaneously, then that marks the uh, the the manifestation of the like the uh, true body mind or the bodhicitta. Mm. Mm -hmm. ね、だ。その程度だ。だね、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先生、先
So to when, uh, so whenever we, uh, you know, the approach, approach to the, to the uh, Dharma or to the spiritual practice, so it's important to um, uh, to relate, important to always relate that to uh, to our own self, uh, to our own practice, uh, such as, you know, like, you know, we when we. Uh, you know, of course, we you know we learn here that how the uh, the the bodhicitta mind is really rooted in the love and compassions. So now, in order to under to to understand this fully, so we have to understand the the meaning of what is what is really mean by love and and the compassions. And so when we understand this, then we can, uh, uh, there's no problem of then understanding how uh, these two are the, uh, are the root cause of, uh, uh, of bodhicitta, or for arising bodhicitta mind. So, mm, so we mm, heard, you find a lot of, uh, uh, a lot about this, like a, the, uh, the, the, the benefit of this, you know, cultivating love and compassion, such as even in like in how in the <clears throat> um, the uh, supplement to the middle way, how the compassion is is important in the <clears throat> in the in the beginning, in the middle, and at the end. So, what does all this means? <clears throat> so, it's all to do with in terms of uh, benefiting other beings, and <clears throat> and so therefore now as we. Uh, we were saying how uh, the, mm, the when we t- uh, at the same time, so it's important to uh, relate this. We are talking about the what <coughs> love and compassion we already <coughs> everyone all you know we are already possess within ourselves. We all have that. You know, I I would uh, <coughs> say that there's absolutely there's no sentient beings, no not even a single sentient <coughs> being who. Who doesn't have the uh, the love and compassion within uh, within them? So even as t- as small, tiny being as like a ants, we, when you look at that, they, even that it too have the love and compassions. For example, how we if you observe how you know like they when they carries the the eggs. So why are they carrying that eggs and they even protect that eggs to the best, even at their own. Uh, uh, cause of their own life. So why they're doing all this is because of their uh, mm, uh, love, unconditional love for this, their uh, mm, uh, the youngster. And mm, so, so in this way, look at sem- similarly. You know, if we look at the birds' life again, how we can obviously see the uh, mm, the uh, look at this the recognize their own offspring and and uh, and and they uh, in a you know, very uh, mm, you know loving and intimate way and and how they uh, mm, uh, protect the uh, the uh, mm, and and also to uh, support the uh, the offsprings you know and so mm, so all these shows and now all beings have that. And now how you on the, on we have to think that you know we, <coughs> as a, as a, uh, a living being, as a, you know we, we are called as a human being. So we just supposed to have a very compared to a lot of other uh, form of life. There's a form of form of life. We supposed to have a lot higher, you know, intelligence, uh, uh, more advanced. So therefore we. Uh, is supposed to, you know, uh, not only we should sub- sub- actually to recognize, able to this uh, clearly this love and 
uh, compassion within us and how this is uh, the source of all the benefits for not only for uh, for all other beings but also even for uh, uh, for ourselves as well so um, so therefore the the um, we have to as you know as we the you know think or trying to uh, uh, hear about this uh, benefit of love and compassion and so forth so really we, we have to get a message <coughs> that is, is we are talking about this uh, uh, the love and compassion whatever the degree of love and compassion we have within ourselves so we have to relate to that and the me and get a message that we have to uh, develop that and it and it say it has a value something to uh, you if you want to benefit other even for uh, even for our own self and and then of course in you know as uh, like not like any other lesser form of life as a human being so we have the intelligence we have the ability to not only to understand the benefits or the value of those love and compassion but at the same time uh, we if we like we have the ability to actually to uh, find a means and a method to 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 uh, 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 to develop that uh, those uh, love and compassions and so there are so many different ways different ways to develop that and like how we find in the text and how in the Shantideva's uh, <coughs> Bodhisattva's way of life how he says you know to uh, the important one method is to to uh, is to applying this uh, method of you know uh, the uh, uh, understanding or reflecting on the equality of of oneself and all other sentient other beings so even to reflect on that the equality in the sense that how there is no uh, uh, we are all same in in terms of wanting uh, happiness and not wanting uh, sufferings and so on the basis of that such a develop understanding so you we trying to uh, de develop more uh, you know uh, respect to others and, and 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 then to at the same time then to uh, consider their their needs uh, and so in this way the essentially how you know Mamma, だ、
Yeah, that was on the other one, yeah. And mm, the meaning of the of the uh, of equalizing the uh, the self uh, uh, mm, uh, with with others, so can be also uh, ex extended to the mm, uh, you know from the point of uh, view of of how how now we can uh, reach out to to benefit others, or you know in terms of uh, the. Uh, the helping them in terms of uh, uh, the uh, the uh, freeing them from suffering or to mm, or to 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 cause bring happiness in terms of that in, in terms of that and, and it's saying equalizing sense you can how uh, you know you apply to the same strategy same method that you use for your own self you know, just as how you know uh, you whatever you do to in order to uh, protect your own interests, your own happiness, and what you do to to avoid sufferings and uh, and any unwanted things. So you, we apply the same uh, to uh, use yourself as an example, and then the uh, the engaging in, uh, in in benefiting others. So that's also the the uh, another, you know another way of uh, uh, understanding the meaning of equalizing uh, here. So, so in this way, the the uh, we the 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 very imp the key key thing is to really to uh, to develop uh, to look into our to uh, within us this uh, love and compassion and and then to uh, developing that because when we when as we develop that then we can automatically like how uh, when we talk about the love so he's talking about some. A, a, a care, you know, uh, caring for others, and then wishing them to have, genuinely wishing them to have happiness. So, so therefore, if you have this strong, such a strong uh, wish, uh, or you know, love, if you have a love, strong love means you have such strong wish to uh, uh, to them have happiness, and and so therefore, it will you will you uh, would, uh, you know, the uh, the engage. You know, in this uh, any uh, means or any you know, uh, the method ways to actually to to uh, <clears throat> uh, to give them happiness if, if when there is a need. So likewise, you know, with the compassions, we we're talking about some deep feeling within us to uh, of of wishing them to be free from suffering, uh, to, uh, to be uh, and to to see the the. <clears throat> Free from suffering, and so therefore, in in the same way, and then uh, when when we have cultivated and developed such compassion within us, then then it will uh, naturally then we would uh, it would occur to us, and we will do something, uh, make an effort where even there is a need to uh, uh, to free other from sufferings. So so therefore the uh, the. Uh, you know, we can see, and then, uh, uh, as we were saying before, how, as we more we engage in this uh, through this love and compassion, engage in the act of benefiting others. So how, obviously, this will benefit others, uh, and not only them. When we benefit others, and how that brings joys in them, and how much they uh, they would, you know, even uh, uh, begin to appreciate our act of uh, of, of benefits. You know, regardless of who is that person, even if somebody that is completely stranger, you know, if you benefit them, they they will really uh, acknowledge, they will really appreciate uh, that, and and so therefore, there is a because they mm, appreciate that, acknowledge that. So therefore, they, you know, if in turn, if uh, you know, they they will become, they come closer to one, and and uh, and and in this way, if there is an, if they see any opportunity to uh, to to help one, so they, it it will they will naturally be uh, be uh, benefiting to to uh, returning the such act of give uh, to benefit to ourselves. So so how we can see is it in a, at at the end it also the the benefit also uh, comes back to 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 ourselves as well, and then of course in the in our uh, everyday life situation then. It can be even more 
if you practice this love and compassion, then the, the benefit that, uh, that this can uh, bring in our life is even more direct because this, this means that the, we will be with the love and compassion, then we uh, means that we will be uh, showing, sh sharing this with those who you are living with, who are close to us. And, uh, and so you, there will be some, uh, this a mutual, mutual benefit can be very, uh, very uh, become very obvious in the sense, you know, you will, uh, there will be some, uh, you will see whatever, you know, thing that you possess. So you see that as a, uh, as a for the, you know, not for just for oneself, but you see that as a, the, uh, you know, something, the object for the, uh, as a, the condition, good condition for both of, both involved. And so you'll be sharing with others. And so in this way, uh, it, it, you know, it, um, how it can bring uh, the harmonies and, 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 and bring and, and the intimacy in the, in the relationship and how when this happens, what kind of, how uh, it brings more uh, peace and happiness uh, in, in one's own life. Mm -hmm. yeah. そのあの、um, so, um, so it's of course it's um as much as possible uh you know we should uh use our own uh the you know the uh, intelligence our own uh this the sense uh, sense of discriminations mental sense of discrimination then to think and to think of uh, on what what the the are uh, the real actual things that will really uh, benefit us in terms of uh, reducing problem or uh, and uh, and solving the problems and and bringing more satisfaction more uh, happiness and in one's life so <clears throat> as if we if we do this then then we will really understand the, uh, uh, we will recognize then the, uh, the, the practices the, uh, that, that would has, it is truly beneficial for oneself. And, uh, and we will uh, not only recognize it, then we will apply that in our practice. So whereas otherwise when we don't, uh, uh, you know, uh, utilize our wisdom and, 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 and we don't recognize this clearly, then what in a lot of our case what happened is we we uh, when we think of the spiritual practice then we we are trying to <clears throat> uh, applying something which is totally uh, the uh, mm, uh, irrelevant is really not much related to oneself and uh, and, and, and 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 so therefore the the mm, uh, while the the really this real practice that that is one, you know, one can do, one has ability, and if one apply that and has a direct benefit, so we just, uh, you know, like a, uh, uh, put it aside. And so, uh, and then if, 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 if this kind of approach, then, uh, then the, the spiritual practice or what a meditation or whatever we do, then uh, won't uh, have much uh, beneficial effect on our life. あ、
so you know talking about um, the uh, uh, cultivating you know love and compassions or developing love and compassions so the um, uh, when you look you know we can this this is something we generate towards the towards other beings and now uh, as to the other beings so we could if we're trying to develop that uh, this love and compassion to somebody who's uh, like a completely stranger then it, it kind of uh, when it, it, it love and compassion doesn't uh, naturally you know uh, occur because there's no the uh, natural relation you know or intimacy or closeness with that so somehow we have to make a uh, uh, extra effort to uh, to cultivate that you know, by thinking on certain way and then of course it's even harder to think about somebody who, who you dislike like like your enemies uh, and, uh, and 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 so therefore <clears throat> the again the uh, in, in real practice, so as it says, it, it, if you think about it, then it's, we should be uh, the, mm, targeting first those who you have, uh, who are already uh, you know, close to ones. So whatever that, the cause of that uh, uh, closeness, whether to something to relate to one's past life karma, or whatever that is, but there is, a, for, like for example, for one's parents and for one's, those who are relatives and so on, so there is a already there is a some sort of uh, bond uh, there, and uh, and so therefore it is uh, it makes sense to uh, <clears throat> or it makes easier sense, and also it makes easier for one to actually to uh, uh, to start the uh, uh, developing the love and compassion uh, first towards those who are close to one, and 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 uh, and, and and then eventually then start trying to uh, include other more like a stranger or the more distant uh, being. So that's, that, that is kind of a uh, good uh, approach. Yeah, yeah. That's Salusa <laughs> Pumas <laughs> ロドココマヨヨンギキネコマヨンベベヘンロソマナツネタニチェチテンデガサジュパマセゾンボテグポジラペアダテンデガティコソユザソンテチンガナガリアポンドワテンギタバラテンナマゴバラチャンパワダ
Mullah, Tandra so the, reflecting on the uh, the the beneficial the beneficial effect of of love and compassion uh, uh, you know towards you know for us and for all uh, other beings then it's is quite um, you know uh, incredible i think these day even <coughs> there's also some uh, modern scientists can also now they uh, uh, through the research they could uh, you know recognize acknowledge this as such you know benefit of benefit of uh, love and compassion showing love and compassion uh, towards towards others in and and even receiving such towards oneself and in in terms of one's uh, sustaining more sustained peace and and happiness in one's uh, one's life so so this we can look even in the human uh, like a, a human to human relationship or like such a, like a parent to children and how children who uh, who've been uh, the uh, you know cared for by a very uh, loving and very uh, compassionate parents and then how they, they such children can in a, in a later stage they have a more uh, more uh, emotionally more uh, the the uh, there's more peace more stabilities and so this incredible like the uh, you know we can we can uh, we can uh, if we observe that uh, other or the other living being even like to if we observe certain animal life like uh, you know like I saw some <coughs> program on TV where how even the uh, <coughs> the uh, like a like a this one in, in which one the lion is is showing an incredible uh, you know care and and, and the love towards his, his little young cubs and to the point that we, the way you know I was watching so closely and and was finding quite amazing to see the way it feed you know to to ensuring that the you know that you know so that the the cub actually uh, get the food in the mouth. And so, actually, the uh, to ensure that food doesn't, you know, uh, fall on the ground, so it, it gets very close to the mouth, and then trying to push the food inside. And also, the the is food has already been very like a soft, you know, very liquid, so it, it makes easier for the cup to swallow. So making every possible, they, with the uh, out of love, so they're trying to feed, and 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 so in this way. Even like how um, you know, His Holiness Dalai Lama also frequently said that the 
in, even when we think of our own life, that fact that we, uh, we are living and uh, we, we, we survive, our, uh, survive our life. So this is all uh, the, because of the, uh, the love and the compassions uh, that we have, or someone, or like our parents or somebody have, have shown up on us. So through that love and compassion, the benefit that we receive from others, that's how we, uh, we survive and we uh, sustain our, uh, our life. And so there is a, if we simply just um, observing the, uh, the day-to-day experience, we can, we can see the, the uh, kind of the reactions that the people show when they, somebody show to love and compassion. So like, uh, um, like I noticed once I was in uh, St. Kilda in a pool. So well, there was a, a um, pipe, pipe I might have um, already mentioned that in the past. So there was one, Woman with the two child, but but one is only probably just over six months, and she was holding, and then at there is also uh, her grandmother was also there, and then I was really observing, and then notice the the initially the child was in the uh, the grandmother was holding, and then then afterward I was, as I observed this, the pass on to the mother, and the moment that child was in the the, in, the, in the hands of the mother and was like, I noticed that suddenly there's some sort of joy, peace, and completely like a rest. You know, whereas on the, uh, there was a bit of <coughs> uh, the um, <coughs> uh, unsettled, you know, when the, uh, uh, the child was with the, with the grandmother. So you could see the human uh, uh, reactions and, and, and that is important even not only in that moment, even in their uh, uh, stage of the development and in, in, in the whole, uh, you know, long, in a, throughout their life. And, uh, and so therefore, this <clears throat> is something in, in our human uh, and the, uh, evolution or human uh, community. So it's important this, the, as a parent then to, uh, <clears throat> uh, to, to seeing this importance uh, of this um, uh, love and compassion and, and, and the, the breeding children with this so much you know, uh, affections uh, the, uh, is, is how that is important for the, uh, 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 for the, the growth of the children's growth. <coughs> Tandra 
ရဲဇာတာရှင်မလာခရနန်တော်ကလေခရညောတိတော်လာပုဂ္ဂိမ်ပါငောရှိကောခရညောတိတော်လာရှင်ပုတ်တော့ရှာရှိကတီညောတိ
peacock, you know, then, uh, uh, you know, hit all the offspring into in her uh, uh, wings. And when I observed that, I was so uh, amazed. It's not only that they, um, even the kind of the, the skill that they demonstrated to protect their loved ones. That is such that even, you know, completely protected under the, uh, uh, under the wings and, and just sat there so, uh, you know, still. And mm, just, <coughs> just one uh, such, a, uh, such an instance. So, mm, uh, so these kind of mm, the things that we can, uh, you know, through observing the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, the animal life, uh, the way the, the other being, you know, show love and compassion and how through that they, uh, they benefit, what they can do to benefit others. So, so by doing all this, and if, you know, somehow we can, if we, uh, it's possible to bring some sort of, as a, as a result of that, have some sort of effect on one's mind and, and bring some positive effect on one's practice. So that even if we, you know, uh, to say that we can cultivate uh, uh, like a great love and great compassion, that might be, even though it's very far away, but suddenly this kind of everyday, uh, the uh, positive, the effect that love and compassion that we have towards the uh, other beings, towards to ourselves, and in the, what we see in the world. So uh, even that is enough for uh, uh, to to recognize these uh, uh, the benefit. So therefore, the. So at the end, like you know, we, uh, you know, we all are as a social beings. You know, we all are uh, depends on the others. You know, so so we can see this even this trend uh, of of the need of depending on others, even on certain uh, animal as well. Like if we look at the bird's life, how they also love to have some sort of you know, uh, uh, always go with their flock. And we, if you observe, even though sometimes they might have a certain uh, uh, you know, they may, you know, like fought each other on certain time, then, then suddenly they will, you know, uh, go in a different way and then sit, you know, quietly and then, and then later on, then again slowly, you know, meet together. So uh, how they manage to somehow, they manage to resolve this kind of problem and then still live together and, and, and how these, this is how even animals live, how um, even if, you know, when the offspring, uh, you know, grows, uh, uh, grow up, grew up, then they, even though they don't recognize the parent, but they still uh, some kind of maybe subconsciously, even though they, uh, they still like to uh, be close to the, their, their parents, and even the parent don't recognize uh, their, that, they, that they are their offsprings later on, and, but they still, uh, it gives them some sort of um, uh, protections, some uh, support to them. <coughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> so I remember once um, yeah, at a uh, at a monastic debate, uh, so it was uh, in uh, in the presence of the uh, 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 very late, very great. Uh, the Lama, you know, uh, the Lady Rinpoche was there, and and there was in the debates. So there was a uh, the uh, 
the issues about the debating about the the, the substantial or the like a main cause of uh, the the uh, main factor main cause for uh, compassion cultivating compassions and then I <clears throat> uh, uh, you know uh, mention that the, the the main substantial cause is the the mother's mother's love towards uh, towards her uh, her, uh, her children's and then the mm, the uh, 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 the the late Latin uh, uh paused for a moment and then he really uh, sh show a clear uh, mm, indication of the the uh, uh, the you know like endorsement or his uh, agreement with these uh, examples. So, <clears throat> so anyway, this is the reason why so we mention things. So it's just to this just to show we have an understanding that the uh, mm, that the when we talk about the compassion, so it is not talking about something out there, but rather is uh, something. It is something uh, within ourselves, and which we have to um, recognize. So we have the uh, the potentials uh, to to develop that. So I carried uh, away with a lot of things, so I, I'm s sorry for that. Now, <laughs> there's not much time uh, left for the teaching, but if we will continue. <laughs> so the... <clears throat> the, the, the <laughs> loss, loss. So the, we, we're up to this uh, section called detailed uh, explanation about outer things which are and are not to be given. So this section has two parts, how not to give uh, outer things and how to give outer things. And then the how uh, not to give outer things so that uh, uh, has five parts. <laughs> So the so this um, the the first one is the uh, the inappropriate giving uh, from the viewpoint of uh, of of uh, times. Um, so the uh, it says the. Uh, inappropriate giving from the viewpoint of time is, for instance, giving an <coughs> ap afternoon meal to renunciates or those who have uh, taken one day vow. So, mm, so this is talking about the uh, uh, the relating to this. Uh, we are talking uh, relating to the practice of giving. So, it it uh, here it points out that the how the uh, the, uh, the from the point of view of time here that how then the sudden uh, the uh, things or the objects you know cannot be uh, uh, not appropriate to give you know such as the you know for example if, if for like a, those who are um, <coughs> taking a, a, like a, a one day precept like the uh, Mahayana precepts and as part of that precept if they have taken <coughs> or, or the uh, mm, the uh, the fast you know the one day uh, uh, precepts then the you know you not uh, part of the one of the precepts mm -hmm. is to not take an afternoon meal so giving the meal uh, mm -hmm. uh, so 
ตัวตัวสาธารณะเตตาคงเดียวเต็มเลยตัวเลบาดัตเตจีกันเจจูมันจะเนี่ยเสมอนุดูถ้าเสียเจเนี่ยว่าโอเนี่ยว่าเสีย
related with the, uh, the fault of the uh, recipient's uh, uh, the mind. So like uh, the, and giving scripture to non-Buddhist philosophers who have commercial interests. Uh, so they, uh, they, they, you know, interest to, for asking for to, to, uh, to uh, for a tax. So it's, it's in a commercial in the sense is to do you know, regard this as a, a material value, uh, the the scripture as a material uh, value uh, or a monetary you know value. <clears throat> so are seeking points of or are seeking points of criticisms or do not want to learn the meaning of uh, scriptures. So there's no intention to uh, to learn the actual meaning of scriptures. And to learn, mean, so this is how the Bodhisattva's level presents it, understood it in more detail uh, from the Bodhisattva's level compendium of determinations. Uh, uh, it continues so, so in relation with this uh, saying just above that inappropriateness uh, of of giving things like a, even a Buddhist like a scripture to someone who's uh, who's got a faulty uh, in motivation or, or intention of receiving it. So in relation with that, how we also have to be careful of when we, uh, you know, the uh, uh, the you know sale like or give the uh, the like a cards with the image of the uh, uh, like a deity such as Manjushiro in you know, the Taras. So if we see that card. Uh, as simply as a uh, material value, just as something like a, a gift, material gift, uh, uh, in that kind of intention, then there is a, uh, this is exactly it is pointing out, then it's not saying it's not uh, uh, appropriate. So that, uh, you know, certain cases, this, um, uh, the, uh, these things are, you know, uh, discouraged to, uh, uh, to, uh, to sell loss. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So and so the companion compendium of determinations uh, so where it says if you give a fully written Buddhist text to to persons of childish intelligence who ask for it uh, you incur a misdeed so the um, shall I explain this uh, misdeed here just translated as a misdeed but the actual word uh, in, in Tibetan is called uh, form of misdeed which is called kanamato means unspeakable you know unmentionable that kind of mis- in a sense that some kind of uh, downfall which you are too uh, ashamed to actually, especially to uh, to confess. 
to, uh, to, uh, to uh, in front of a, you know, a, a great beings. So that kind of, talking about that kind of misdeed, mm. uh, uh, kanamato. Mm. Uh, so if you ask others for it to give to them, so you also incur a uh, misdeed, so that uh, misdeed. So if you give it t uh, uh, totally within thinking that you can cause them to become interested in or to embrace the profound teaching, you do not incur a misdeed. So we mm, leave it here and uh, maybe um, continue next. Thank you. Maybe now bring the tea. Thank you. Thank you.